So Tesla has a feature called a cabin overheat protection, and this is an ambient cooling feature that aims to help keep your cabin from getting too hot. Let's say it's parked in direct sunlight, right? And this is even after you leave your vehicle or you're not driving it. Now, this is definitely an interesting feature that I have used on occasion in the past. However, it's not necessarily one that you're going to want to use all the time if you're looking to preserve your battery, right? Keep in mind, if your Tesla is parked in the hot sun, well, you could see cabin temperatures reaching 140 or even 150 degrees, which means your Tesla would have to constantly be working to lower your interior cabin temperature with the AC. Assuming you'd be parked somewhere for multiple hours at a time on a hot day though, well, you can imagine that this will easily drain your battery and use a lot of its charge. Tesla itself even says that using cabin overheat protection does require energy from the battery, of course, which may decrease range. So yeah, it's a to assume that you should only use this feature when daily driving and charging. On occasion though, I do keep it on during the summer months when my car is parked in the driveway in the beating heat to help the cabin stay a little bit cooler. But the car is also pretty much always plugged in when parked in my driveway. And so that is going to maintain the battery state of charge. Also keep in mind that this isn't the only feature you can use to cool your cabin. 